Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today I'm doing a head to head Lefroy quarter cask versus Lefroy quarter cask cast strength. The original quarter cask, this one's balled at 46% ABV. It cost me $75 Canadian here in Ontario. This is the 2017 Karchis. It is balled at 57.2% ABV. It cost me $90 US in the States. Uh, quarter cask, exactly what it sounds like. It is a quarter of a size of a regular ex bourbon barrel. These are both matured in ex bourbon and then finished in quarter casks. Essentially, they're just getting more wood to whiskey ratio, and it matures a little bit faster. We'll see how they compare after I nose them, taste them, and give them a mark. Okay, original quarter cask on the nose. So, the first thing I get here is like rubber. Almost like, um, like a brand new pair of shoes, if you like to smell the sole of it. That's what this smells like. Very medicinal as well. Lots of lots of medicinal notes in here. Big, big peat kick. Lots of brininess as well. It's kind of like what Lefroy is known for. It's all of it right in here. A little bit of, um, a little bit of citrus in here too. Almost like a grilled uh, lemon. Sometimes you put, people put like lemons on top of like a fish when they're cooking on the barbecue. That's what this smells like. Oakiness, very soft, soft oak. Yeah, it's good. All right, palate. Um, the peat, the medicinal notes carry over, very rich, very, very bold, um, oakiness there as well. And then this like really nice, nice dark chocolate note, a little bit of vanilla as well. Really, really good. Uh, finish, nice long finish. You get the peat, you get the oak. Um, I remember the first time I had this whiskey, I was just completely blindsided. It was probably, yeah, I was gonna say it's the first like heavily peated whiskey that I tried and I was just taken right back by it. Um, it's in your face, it's bold, it's very, very rich, very, um, it's like nothing you've kind of had before if, if it's your first time trying it. Um, I remember trying it and thinking, I gotta try it again, I gotta try this again. I love this whiskey. It was kind of the first one that kind of got me into peated, peated scotch. But man, it's good. Um, it's a peat bomb for sure. It's uh, your definition peat bomb whiskey right here. Um, marks, I'm gonna give it a nice mark. I really like this one. Uh, 87 out of 100. Value wise, um, $75 Canadian I think is a good deal. It's gone up a little bit at the LCBO since I bought this. I think they want 85 for it now. Um, but the $75 I paid, really good deal. I'm gonna bump it up a half mark for value. So 87 and a half out of 100. Okay, 2017 Karches, the quarter cast, cast strength on the nose. So again, typical Lefroig, uh, peatiness, that brininess, the medicinal notes, all right there. And then some really nice like um, pear, almost like a smoked pear, a grilled pear. Sometimes you get like a salad and it's got like a, like a pear, like grilled pear on top of it. That's what this smells like. Maybe like some grapes, kind of like a, like a peeled grape almost. And like a little bit of like a plasticky note too. All right, let's try the palette. So again, Typical Lefroig, all that peat, all that medicinal. It's also there, very still bold, very still rich. Um, the mineral notes. But you got a little bit of like charcoal here. A nice kind of like soft, like charcoal note. And some vanilla. Definitely some good vanilla here. Um, almost like a vanilla syrup, like a vanilla like extract. Pretty nice. Finish, uh, mean belong. You get that peat again, the mineral notes. Um, that oakiness sticks around. 
and a little bit of that fruit, a little bit of that pear note there as well on the finish. Uh, Score-wise for this one, um, I'm going to give it 85 out of 100. I'm going to take off uh, a half point for value here. And that leaves it at 84 and a half out of 100. Let's get into these head-to-head. -head. So I'm not liking the cast strength as much as the original quarter cask. Now, why is that? Um, I can only really think of a couple reasons. One being that the age is maybe is a little bit different. Maybe this original is a little bit older. Maybe they're finishing the whiskey in the quarter cask a little bit longer. Um, it's hard to kind of tell. They're both non-age statements, so you don't really know how old they are. Color-wise, I think Laphroaig adds color to this whiskey anyway, to the original. Um, the original is darker than the cast strength. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that on the, uh, on the camera or not, but it is a little bit darker. I have a feeling they add color to this, so there's no really point in trying to even discuss color. Um, the only other reason I can think of is just cask selection. Maybe the casks that they use for the cast strength aren't their best casks. Maybe they're not their best quarter casks. Maybe they're not their best ex-bourbon casks. Maybe when they were thinking of a release to do for 2017, they had some barrels that they wouldn't include in their regular vatting of the quarter casks because maybe they weren't performing as well. Maybe they didn't think that you know, they would be up to par from, from this release. This is a well-known release. It's a well-liked release. Um, maybe these were just barrels that were kind of, you know, at the back of the pile, and they were like, well, we can bottle them a cast strength and call it a cartridge for the year. Not really sure. Those are just kind of speculations of why. Um, but I would take this whiskey over this one. Better price, you get a better quality experience, in my opinion. Um, let me know what you guys think. How do you like the Lefroy Cora cask? Um, for me, it's kind of like a nostalgia whiskey. Um, it was one of the first first ones I tried, first heavily peated whiskey I tried. Um, it's not for everyone, of course. It's very, very strong in your face. Um, a lot of people think it tastes like feet. A lot of people think it tastes like asphalt, like road. Um, I love it. I love the bold flavors. Um, have you had these two head-to-head? -head? Let me know. Have you had this one? Um, I appreciate your comments as always, guys. Um, love the back and forth that we have in the comment section. Um, I love to hear your guys' opinion as well. So let me know in the comments down below. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Cheers.